OnePlus has announced more Nord phones. And it's getting, it's officially out of hand now. Mm. Because, well, I can't keep it together. How do you even know? I didn't know what they were going to do with this brand when it first started. I thought, okay, keep it. Maybe you got one phone for the year. Because obviously, as OnePlus, you're already doing a bunch of stuff too. Mm -hmm. As OnePlus, the main brand OnePlus, you got the, you had the 8, you had the 8 Pro, you had the 8T. Mm-hmm. Now you got the Cyberpunk phone coming out, which I'm excited for of the bunch. At least that one's quite a bit different. And then you come with Nord. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, you got a lot of phones right now, OnePlus. Yeah. And then they're like, no, 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 Nord is a whole thing. And now we got even more stuff. And mm-hmm. look, I'm not saying it's bad. Selection is good. Somebody in the marketplace. However, it just feels a little bit less special now. Mm-hmm. The Nord brand, because now you're like, oh, they're going to have 10 models over here. Now the two models they announced here, uh, N10 5G, N100, are going to have a wider release, supposedly eventually landing in North America, unlike the original OnePlus Nord. Uh, N10 5G is going to launch for around 412 bucks US the equivalent, and it'll have a Snapdragon 690. The N100, that's the budget model. It's 179 British pounds, 199 euros, and 235 USD, of course, depending on where the exchange rate is. That's a Snapdragon 460, so very budget-oriented. Now, they're saving money on the chips, but the rest of the spec sheet actually looks fairly decent. In fact, if we're looking at the N100, which is the cheap, I mean, it's just over $200. It's got a 6.5-inch display, dual stereo speakers, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 18-watt fast charging. The RAM does get reduced to 4 gigs, and you don't have a ton of storage, 64 uh, gigs of storage, and, and obviously there's no 5G there, but for around 200 bucks, hmm. I mean, that market continues to heat up. They're like ultra entry level, mm-hmm. and maybe there's some cachet with the OnePlus brand where people are looking at some of the other around $200 brands, and they might be a bit nervous, like, uh, mm-hmm. know about that particularly in, in in this market here in North America. So OnePlus, you're, you're aware of them. They've been doing this for some time now. They kind of had that cult following early, and now they're just pretty well recognized, at least in the tech community. Mm-hmm. And so maybe if you only got the 200 to spend, you're getting a brand that you're a little bit more comfortable with. Also, they do some degree of software optimizations, limiting, in some cases, animations and mm-hmm. things that if you were on a lower spec chip, you might like that. Yeah. So anyways, more Nord phones. I think we actually, I think we're getting them very soon. Mm -hmm. So we may have more to say on that. 